Good afternoon, everybody. I love sharing stories of our students' success, not just because I'm so proud of them, but because I want you to know what's possible for your children as well. So we have a student, her name's Nicole, and Nicole got off to a really rough start in high school, just not the right classes, teachers, environment, and so forth. And so she, her GPA was below a 3.0. She decided for her junior year to make the jump to a different school. And the school proved to be a better environment. And while her GPA still wasn't, you know, the 4.0, 4.5, 4.7 that we're seeing a lot of now, her GPA did go up. So we carefully crafted an essay about why her GPA for her junior year was better reflecting her ability, what her struggles had been, without making excuses, without complaining, without it being anyone's fault but her own, how she managed the process, took control, and is responsible for her grades now and is feeling much better about it. We also made sure that her personal essay really shared something about her that had nothing to do with those grades, had nothing to do, we didn't wanna, yeah, there's so little space for them to get to know your kid. We don't wanna repeat things. We don't want everything to sound the same. Her personal essay didn't talk about any of her activities. And to be quite honest, Nicole's activities were kinda light. They, she didn't have a very robust resume in comparison to some other students. And she's the type of student that often parents think like, oh gosh, number one, like, is my kid going to be able to get into the colleges they want to attend? And number two, should we even hire an independent consultant? Do we really need that? Like they're not looking to go to Harvard. But when your student's on the borderline, when they're below the college's average, for GPA, for test scores, and there's not some stellar, you know, like unique factor in their resume, it's really helpful to have someone who kind of puts the total picture together, highlighting who that person is, who they're going to be at school, on campus, how will they contribute and stand out in their own right. And one of the ways is by being early in the process, like no question, being early in the process definitely helps. Right now, college admission personnel are like, hurry, we gotta fill this class. Let me tell you, October 20th, November 1st, leading into that November 1st deadline for early action, when they're getting 30, 40, 50,000 applications in a 10 day period, do you think they're taking as much time on an application? Do you think they're like, oh, how can this kid fit? No, they're like, how can we get through this stack? So super important to be early in the process. But the great news is Nicole's already been accepted to two schools. Two schools she chose to apply to because she wants to attend. So how exciting is that? Um, I have a student who just walked in my office a couple minutes ago. I said, have you set up your portals for the colleges you applied to a couple of weeks ago? And he's like, well, no, I haven't. I'm like, let's get on it. And one of the schools to which he applied, I know has already released a few decisions. And so we went in and checked and he's already been accepted. And so that's an exciting moment. I mean, just think if your kid's a senior and they haven't applied yet, and they're hearing about friends who have already been accepted to good schools, that makes their life even more stressful. So there's still time to get their applications in early, be on this front end of things when admissions is still like eagerly trying to accept kids instead of looking for just the best kids out of that stack of 30, 40, 50,000 applications. So if you have questions about that, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to schedule a conversation to talk about it. I have a lot of conversations coming up in the next few days with parents 
because they are concerned. Um, we've ha we've added several students um, as we have some that are completely done already. We've added several students, including sophomores and juniors. As parents are like, hey, we want to get in on this early so that we're not rushed at the end. We want to make sure the resume stands out. We have the test scores. We have the grades early. And then it's not as challenging. It's not as stressful. Because I can tell you, Nicole was very stressed. She was so worried. Because again, she's hearing everybody at school talk about their 4.0s and above and she's like oh my gosh my 3.1 cumulative even though her junior year was a little bit better than that her freshman and sophomore year was, were anchors on that so really important to you know start the process early if you can but if you have seniors and they're not into this process yet definitely time for a phone call because they need to get through this. It'll make their life less stressful and easier the sooner this gets done. So look forward to speaking to anyone who has questions. And hopefully if you have a student who has a little bit lower GPA and you're concerned, rest assured they can get accepted. We'll talk to you soon.